guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. I know it has been a little bit, but I have been under the weather for about a week and a half now. I feel like we're at this point again where the weather, at least here, has been cold, and then it's been hot, and then back to cool again, and it wreaks havoc on your immune system. And I know that I've gotten sick. I know that a lot of my friends have gotten sick. So it was just bound to happen for me. So I was in no um, voice. I had, you know, stuffy, couldn't smell, didn't melt for a couple days either. I know it looks like I definitely have, and that's only because I like to do my empties once the bin is full. I may start doing it in weekly. I just haven't decided that yet, but for the most part, it has worked for me just once the bin is getting full to hop on here and film a video. So I apologize that my voice sounds a little crackly, but um, for those of you who like to take my YouTube videos and send them and uh, talk about me, it just gives you guys some more content. So I'm giving it to you and you can use all of my videos to make fun of me all you want. It just shows your character. But anyway, so without further ado, I have a ton of empties to get through, so let's get into it. As always, we will go ahead and start with candles. I actually don't have a ton of candles. Honestly, I haven't been burning a ton of candles lately, but my friend Natalie here on YouTube has told me about the candle crock, and I've heard of the candle crock from Mr. Kong's mom, Melanie, and... I just never purchased one, but today from Amazon, I got a candle crock in the mail, so I'm excited to crock my candles, and if you're familiar, it's basically like a crock pot, but for candles, it's supposed to really give your candles great life, so I'm excited to try it and tinker around with it before I talk about it with you guys, but anyway, I have four candles here. The first one was a surprise hit for me, and it is Salted Lemon Meringue, and this right here, you can see really clearly here why I also wanted the Candle Crock. This new place, I do not want covered with soot, and these candles soot. Candles naturally soot. So, for me, I knew that I, when they start to soot, they're going in a candle crock, calling it a day. But this salted lemon meringue from Target, I really, really liked it. I liked that it was like a lemon meringue pie, but it had just a hint of sea salt, which almost brought out the flavor or the fragrance of the lemon meringue pie. It was really, really yummy. I can't smell anything now, but... I really, really enjoyed this candle. I do want to purchase another one and put it in the candle crock to see how it works because people say the candle crock makes the candles last so long. And while I was burning that in here, I was burning this in my bedroom so I could get like the cross path of sugared lemonade from Bath & Body Works. This candle performed so badly. Another reason why I want a candle crock, that way I can get every drop of the candle out. But this sugar lemonade, mm, fresh lemon juice, sugar crystals, and crushed ice. While the fragrance is really nice, it does truly smell like the lemonade that you get at the fair, where it's like that crystallized lemon water almost. I liked the scent, I could not smell it at all burning, and the flames just got super, super low. So. Not a repurchase, not a thrill. Honestly, there's only a few candles that I would repurchase from Bath & Body Works. This one being one of them, Palo Santo. Love. This is the candle that a lot of the vendors have the dupe oil for, which I'm so happy about. I love this fragrance. And it's Palo Santo Wood Warm Amber and Soft Musk Cream. Ah, so good. Woody, ambery, Palo Santo. It's smoky, it's woodsy, it's absolutely delicious. We'll always repurchase it. I think I have like 10 backups, so I'm good for a while. And then a single wick that I was using in my bathroom, Raspberry Mimosa, purely ambiance. I could not get the throw from the single wicks. And I know Natalie says the candle crocks give her great luck with single wicks. So I'm excited to crock some candles and see what I get out of them. But this is just like a tart, juicy raspberry fragrance. I really enjoyed it. Um, I, I burned a three wick of it, but I didn't get anything out of the single wick. So those are the only candles that I got through this week, but I have a basket 
full of wax. I went through the wax, you guys. Um, this is a mix of some melting baskets that I put together for myself, just some things I really wanted to use up. So, like I said, a lot of stuff. The first thing that I finished was from Zape, and this is in Banana Pudding. I love this scent. This is one of her, like, cake shapes, and this is such a true, authentic banana pudding fragrance. This is Vanilla Wafer, Whipped Cream, and Sweet Bananas. If you love Banana Bakery, but you feel like a lot of the times it leans towards Laffy Taffy, definitely give the Zape Banana Pudding a try. I really hope she does this in Body Care next year. I, I know it's crazy, but I love it. It's a really comforting, creamy, rich banana pudding fragrance. Really like that. Speaking of Zabe, I also finished Spring Cleaning. These were two roses. One of my favorite scents from her. It's Clean Linen, Juicy Fruits, and Fresh Spring Blooms. If you like laundry, give this a try. If you don't like laundry, give this a try. Because I personally feel like this laundry is not overly sharp or overly, like, sudsy like some laundries can be. I like the note of the fresh berries. I have a few of these as backup. I love that she offered this again, and it's just such a good scent to clean the air, but still give you, like, that fragrance that you really love without just being laundry. Is this right here? No, I thought it would be on the top, but it looks like I mixed it up. But anyway, uh, scratch what I was thinking. All right, I finished from Rose Girls, a mini melter bag and a fresh baked bread. Loved this, you guys. Love this. This was super strong. Knocked me out of the house. I did two mini melters in each one of my warmers in my living room. Ah. Uh, and it lasted the entire day. Definitely faded, and when I woke up the next morning, I couldn't really smell it. But when I did, it was that yeasty, delicious, crusty bread. Really, really liked that. Um, I also did a bag. This was gifted to me in Serendipity. I have another bag of this. I love Serendipity, and Rose Girl Serendipity is awesome. It's sweet, thick, creamy vanilla blended with coconut cream and a touch of cherry. This is about the only cherry I can handle. A touch of cherry, and it's not like... Uh, like medicinal cherry. I really like Serendipity. She has a Serendipity blend that I absolutely love. Next... Another from Rose Girls. This was, I believe, a uh, mini muffin. This was also gifted to me. This is Sicilian Lemon Nilla Noel Cookies. Sicilian Lemon Cookie, Vanilla Bean Noel, and Nilla Wafers. I love Lemon Bakery. Unfortunately, I didn't get anything out of this. I really struggle with her mini melter, or with her mini muffins. I get performance here and there from her mini melters, but the muffins, not so much. I didn't get anything from that. I finished a loaf from L3, and here's Jenny. Pumpkin pecan waffles, bakery bomb, and pretzel. This scent, I really like the way that it smells. However, it was not strong, and this was March of 2021. I'm really, really trying to use up the L3 that I have. I've done a really good job at it. Um, it's just the performance after it hits a year, i found from personal experience and from watching a lot of videos online recently that L3 just does not store well. So I don't know if double bagging it helps. I don't know. I mean, I store it in a cool, dark place, so not really sure, but I definitely want to work through my L3 that I have. The next video you'll see I post is an L3 haul, but it's scents I really wanted to try, and that's it. Like, I'm done ordering from L3 until I use up what I had and then work on this stuff. It's not going to be a vendor where I enjoy some of her fragrances. I personally feel like it can be a lot because she just blends everything and is readily available so much that the vendors that are a little bit more difficult difficult to order from who you know don't offer restocks as often or pre-orders I tend to go with them a little bit more because L3 is always there but there's sometimes where I'm just you have that itch where you want to spend some money and she's offering something so yeah but other than that like I just didn't get the performance from that one this one's from Empire Alchemy. This is in Squeaky Clean. This was gifted to me, um, or this was in the Round Robin box from my collab. And this is Watery Accord Salt Seaweed and Apple Blossom. Really enjoyed this in the bathroom. This was like a double donut. I cut the double donut in, um, in half. 
I believe, maybe in a quarter, I, I honestly can't remember, this was a while ago, but I really liked it, it was just like a very clean, fresh scent. I do have an Empire Alchemy haul that should be here next week, so I have a lot of videos that I need to film for you guys. This was a little bag of mini melters from a Kahuna box from Rose Girls in Rush of Rose, which is a Votivo type. Votivo is like a high-end candle brand. This just smelled like very bright roses, very powdery, bright florals. I enjoyed it. Um, it just, you know, it wasn't anything special. I did raspberry jam filled donut from Sassy Girl Aroma in my living room, an entire brittle broken into all the warmers, and this is wild raspberry jam, fluffy donut, and powdered sugar. This is the dupe for the Bath of Body Works version. Love this. True, authentic raspberry jam. I know some people get like a powdery floral note out of this. I don't. I love the raspberry jam in here mixed with a yeasty donut. I believe I have um, another brittle and a loaf in this, so I'm stocked on that one. This is from a random act of kindness. This is from the brand Lunar Landings. It looks like it's an Etsy shop, and this is called Looking Like a Snack. Come get a piece of this pie, and it was blueberry pie. They were like soy wax melts. I enjoyed the fragrance. It definitely just smelled like a generic blueberry pie. Like, the fragrance oil. The soy wax was interesting. It definitely, like, crystallized in the warmer. I wouldn't order from them, but it was nice while, while I used it up. Oh, so many. Okay. These guys, right away, I didn't get anything from these. These were from August of last year from L3 in her Hufflepuff sampler. Don't Cross Streams Hufflepuff and Sugared Shortbread Buttercream Frosting Hufflepuff. I didn't get anything from those. Oh, here we go. Going to Disneyland from Sassy Girl Aroma. This is one of Charity's favorites, and to me, I was like, oh, it's just like a fruity fragrance. When you melt this, guys, really, really good. Cotton candy, strawberry, pineapple, creamsicle, lemonade, and whipped cream. This just smells like a super summer, tropically hot day fragrance with the creamsicle and the lemonade. It's a really nice citrusy, zesty scent. I don't think I have any more brittles of this. I know I have a brittle in Blueberry Disneyland, so I'll definitely give that a try. And then Paisley. I can't speak to this because I put this in on the day and I realized I lost my sniffer, so I can't say. It's Pink Sugar, Lord of Misrule, Vanilla B. Noel sounds incredible. I couldn't smell anything that day, unfortunately. I actually did melt this, which is Frozen Clementine from Destination Wax, which is her Frozen Frozen, which is, um, it doesn't say, but it's like a menthol scent mixed with clementine, which it says orange, lemon, clementine, grapefruit, tangerine, and bergamot. This was nice. I could smell it barely. It was when I was really, really sick, and I just wanted something to clear the air, and I couldn't find my frozen frozen. I did end up finding it. It's in a loaf, so it's not finished, but I did really enjoy that one. Speaking of Destination Wax, I did one of her samples in my bathroom in Cucumber Melon. This does not smell like the Bath and Body Works, and it says it here, too. It's Cucumber, Honeydew, Cantaloupe, and Watermelon. Sweet, fresh, and realistic. I really liked this. I liked this version better than the Bath and Body Works version. It was really, really enjoyable. Trying to get everything out of here besides... Um, ah... Scentsy, because I did get through a lot of Scentsy, too. I did Carbs Noel from Rose Girls in this room. This is nice. Just kind of like a bakery blender fragrance. I enjoyed it. Next, we have Zucchini Jam from Rainbow Melts. I enjoy this scent. I love this scent. Don't love the vendor. Next. Ooh, Coin Wash. This is the laundry scent that I did this week from Sassy Girl Aroma. Fresh Air Laundry and Amber. I've been on ordering every laundry scent from her to try to find the laundry that I love, but this is not it. The Amber was way too strong mixed with the laundry. It almost turned us into a very mature woman's perfume, and I just did not enjoy it. This is a really hard one for me. I hop. You guys, I did not like it. I have IHOP 
in a perfume, and when I wear it, I'm like, this just smells like butter. Like, butter and syrup. And I, I just didn't like it. So I thought the perfume just wasn't cured enough, but it keeps developing into this, like, buttery syrup note. So I was like, I'm gonna melt this. It smelled just like that on warm, and it, oh, uh, it breaks my heart because I have so much of this, and I, I thought I loved it on cold. It's pumpkin pecan waffles, maple syrup, and brown sugar, caramel, and coffee. I love IHOP on cold, but warming it, mm, -mm I, I don't like it. I'm gonna try it again and see if maybe it was just my sniffer that day, but I, I don't know. It just, like I said, it was a really strong, like, almost like clarified butter, like you would dip lobster in with like maple syrup. That was not a vibe. Oh, what is a vibe? Smooth Criminal from VCS. And yes, there's a little bit left in here because I'm hoarding this until she brings it back out. This was a blend that I created with Kirby. I know that set the girls in wax chat on fire. I posted about me creating this blend in Kirby's Facebook group, and the ladies had a field day trashing me in wax chat about it, but honestly, if you guys say my ego is so big and I'm a tool, well, posting about me all the time, wouldn't that make me a bigger tool? Because all you do is talk about me. It's just how I feel. Okay, so the notes are Sugar Cookie Royale, Palo Santo, and Marshmallow Fireside. L3 has a blend, today is October 3rd, which is Sugar Cookie Royale, Palo Santo, and Toasted Marshmallow. L3's Palo Santo is a Bath of Butterworks stew. Kirby's is not. Toasted Marshmallow and Marshmallow Fireside are two totally different oils as well. So, therefore, this is not L3's blend. I created this with Kirby because I was inspired by the L3 blend, absolutely, but oils aren't patented. Nobody has a patented oil blend. Everybody can do everything from other vendors. I've seen fellow YouTubers who review wax who say blatantly, I like this scent, I'm going to see if L3 can make it for me. I like this scent from this vendor, I'm going to see if this vendor can make it for me. So again, and then they say, this is my custom. So again, double standard, I can't do it and I get ridiculed for it, but everybody else can. It's that double standard. But again, it's my channel. I can say whatever I want on here, and I love it. So I have a small group of friends on here who I love and trust, and they're the ones that I stick to. The others, I don't care. They can hate me all they want. That negative energy, I don't need in my life. I'm doing well, and I love myself. That's all that matters. Next, we have candy cane cookies. You like that little soapbox? Just have to throw it in sometimes because they act like I don't know. This is Candy Cane Cookies, Missouri River Soap Company. I liked this. I did this in a bedroom one night just before bed. I wanted to try to get something calming and soothing. I really liked that. This one is Pistachio and Bear Claws from Rose Girls. This was part of that atrocious Halloween sampler that was not Halloween at all. I didn't love this. The pistachio was good, but the bear claws was kind of undetectable. Pistachio is a pretty strong oil. Oatmeal cookie latte, also from that sampler. It was okay. Oatmeal cookie oil is hit or miss for me. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. It just has to be blended right. Oh my, do I have a lot. This from Sassy Girl, the highlight of the week, the basket, everything in here. This is the best bro code. This had to have lasted three, almost four days. I finally had to change it out. I'm like, I need something new to smell. But this scent, you guys, lasts so long. It's blue sugar, cotton candy, and caramel kettle corn. I would love to buy more of this next time she offers it. The blue sugar mixed with the sugar cookie or not the sugar cookie, mixed with the kettle corn and the caramel. It is so, so good. I can't get enough of it. If you like salty, if you like sweet, if you like bakery, if you like blue sugar, you have to try Bro Code. It is so, so good. Whew. Oh yeah, I did a lot of L3, and I'm just gonna be honest with you guys, I did not get performance 
out of any of these. These were from June of last year. I'm just seeing if there's any more in this basket. I don't think there is, but I didn't get performance from any of these, and it makes me really sad, so also why I really need to not hoard my wax from her. Little Red's Bountiful Basket, which is butter, black, butter cookies, blueberry muffins, and strawberry jam. Pink Lemonade Punch Pink Sugar Crystals. Sweet Lavender White Elephant Exchange. Yeah, like, I did this in my bedroom. Nothing. This was a bougie bar. Blackberry Boardwalk Mellow Clouds Fluffy Towels. And then Rosemary Mint Boom Boom. I did this in here. If I held my nose right up to the warmer, I could smell it, but it didn't. It did not do anything for me. Now, this L3 blend did. And this I got June 10th of last year. Saltwater Mermaid Frosty Fizzy Bubbly. Love this. This was a two-pack of bunts. I cut each bunt into fours. Eight pieces in my living room through the entire day. So I don't know if it's the Saltwater Mermaid oil or the Frosty Fizzy Bubbly oil, but I'm definitely keeping my eyes out for these. I love this fragrance. It was cool, refreshing, just cleared the house out without being laundry. I went to Cleveland to see Waitress and I did this from Broadway Wax when I got home. This is Lulu's Strawberry Dream Pie. This was Strawberry Pound Cake, Cream Cheese Frosting, Vanilla Waffle Cone, Strawberry Shortcake, and Whipped Cream. I didn't get anything from it, but it smelled just like a, like a strawberry bakery. Holy bags. I didn't realize I used this much. I finished a loaf from Destination Wax and Jelly Cronut. Love this scent. This is such a good scent. If you love a good jelly donut, try this. It amplifies it with the cronut. The notes are flaky, buttery, croissant donut filled with blackberry, raspberry, strawberry, jelly. Amazing. The croissant note just kills it. The next one is Lavender Twilight from Destination Wax. This is a dupe for the uh, Lush Twilight fragrance. Love, love that. I love the Lush Twilight scent. Spa Strawberry from Empire Alchemy. Really enjoyed this. If she offers this again, I definitely am going to get it. This is Fresh Strawberry, Lemon Zest, Lemongrass, Patchouli, and Green Leaves. Really been liking Empire Alchemy lately. Oh, this is another one. Susan the Gentle, also from L3. Soothing Lavender, Birthday Cake, and Strawberry Jam. Didn't smell anything from there. Strawberry Cookie Land from Rose Girls. I enjoyed this. This wasn't a mini muffin. It was only a quarter left, and I believe I did this in a tea light in my bedroom. Strawberry Pound Cake, Confetti Cake, Coffee Butterscotch Pretzels, and a Cookie. I like this. I can blend this because the Cookie Land oil is not... Um, like a house blend. It's an oil that a lot of vendors carry now, so I was able to use that up. Cake by the Ocean from Rose Girls. I didn't get any throw from this, sadly. This is like strawberry jam and key lime pie birthday cake, I want to say. I didn't get much performance from that one. This is the Melted Moose Carnival Confection. Loved this. This is funnel cake, cotton candy, and fried ice cream. It's not like a circus concession. There's no like apple or kettle corn note in it, but it was really, really nice. Banana bread carbs from Rose Girls. I always enjoy this. I love the banana bread note in here mixed with the carbs. We'll always repurchase that one. I was really feeling fall one of these rainy nights here, and this is from that more of hers soap. Someone sent me a random act of kindness. Very sweet of you. If you know who you are, absolutely love you. And this was nice. This was a bar. The caramel apple was nice. It smelled like Cider Lane and was just craving some fall in my life. Now this, this is by the Snob Love Bar. Georgia Bed and Breakfast. Pecan waffles, vanilla ice cream, marshmallows, and cake batter. I really enjoyed the fragrance. I enjoyed the throw. The wax was just strange. It was like a thick wax. Not really sure. I used it in a um, Scentsy, and I used it in the Candle Warmers Illumination, the Halogen Bulb. Those are the warmers I have in my bedroom. The Halogen melted it fine. The Scentsy struggled. Fall Fun Carnival from Sassy Girl Aroma. Sugar Cookie, Kettle Corn, and Vanilla Bean Noel. I enjoyed this. I like um, her Sawdust Days better. Oh my gosh, I feel like this never ends. Oh, more things I couldn't smell from L3. Raspberry Whip and Banana Crepes. Um, this is from Destination Wax. This is Take a Letter Maria. 
Sweet Tart Passion Fruit and Fragrant Tea Roses. Honestly, don't remember this. Peach Pizzelle from Candles from the Keeping Room. Loved this. I did this one in my halogen bulb warmer in my bedroom. Loved the way that that smelled. Oh, I did this from Sassy Girl Aroma. This was like a prototype thing that she sent me in charity in Hello Lover. Love this scent, you guys. I know I was not a fan of it whenever I first smelled it on cold, but when it warms, it really comes out. These were like little scented beads. I don't think she's going to carry these. Just packaging-wise, it's just not really ideal, but the fragrance is incredible. Sweet sugar cane, lemon rind, followed by hints of shortbread. Love the way that this smells. It performed for days in my warmer, and like I said, the lemon in here, bright, zesty, really through for a while, and the shortbread really comes out on warm. Highly recommend Hello Lover. Keep trudging along. I only have a little stack left. And then on to my Scentsy. All right, Night Shift from Rose Girls. I just did this this morning in my bedroom. I really liked it. I have a mini melter bag of it, so I'll be able to get a little bit more out of it then. But it was a nice coffee scent. I wouldn't repurchase it, though. It just didn't have enough coffee for me. Um, Huckleberry Zucchini Bread Cupcakes. Super funny with this one. I was calling Lexi, and we were on the phone, and... I was like, oh, I just put Huckleberry Zucchini Bread Cupcakes in, and it's like the middle of summer. And she's like, oh my god, me too. Now, we have so much wax, all of us waxies. What are the chances that we would both pull out of the same sampler, the same scent, to melt at the same time, on the same night, and... It's not even seasonally appropriate. It's so bizarre. Love this, though. I love Huckleberry. Love Huckleberry. Um, Oregon Autumn from L3. I could not smell that one. Black Cherry Yellow Cake from Candles from the Keeping Room. Really like this. The yellow cake mixed with the black cherry made the cherry tolerable for me. You know, I'm not a cherry person. Pineapple from Rose Girl. Straight up. Love this. Really strong, juicy pineapple. Um, Cabana Cream from Southbound. This is a green coconut tropical orchid and toasted praline and Brazilian cocoa cabana cream type, which is a Sol de Janeiro. I liked it. It's like a coconutty tropical scent. I did it in my bedroom or my bathroom. And then I did a loaf from L3 and Pennywise. Sweet funnel cake dusted with powdered sugar and topped with strawberry and raspberry syrup. Not a spicy funnel cake scent. I actually really enjoyed this. I would repurchase this. This was a loaf. I did it two different times in my living room. It lasted all day. Really enjoyed that one. And this last one was a sample from Super Tarts in Nog Hog. The notes are very strange. Angel food cake, cardamom, eucalyptus, rosemary, black pepper, lemon, eggnog, buttercream, and a hazelnut liqueur. Very strange. I did not enjoy it. I did it. It was like one of her little clam samples. No, I did not enjoy that one. And then I did two scoops from L3. Blueberry Muffin White Elephant Exchange. Both of the scoops, not, not the best performers, but also this Blueberry Muffin White Elephant Exchange. If you're not familiar with White Elephant Exchange, it's uh, powdered donuts, vanilla wafers, white cake, and vanilla frosting. This smells so strange. I don't, it almost, the white elephant exchange mixed with the blueberry muffin almost comes across as like sour. I don't, I don't know. It, it just did not smell fresh or like a soggy muffin. Not really sure, but mm, I did not like the way that those blended together. And I love this ice cream party berry waffle cone. Not a dupe for berry waffle cone for one. It does not smell like the candle at all, but mixed with ice cream party, I assume that's just like an ice creamy scent. I get a hint of cinnamon, like a cinnamon sugar. Again, not sure the notes on ice cream party, but very strange, and uh, I got zip out of this. I did the scoop in this room, nothing. All right, let's move on to my Scentsy. Now, I do want to say, and I will state this in my huge Scentsy haul that I have coming up, I know I've said some things about Scentsy that, like, it doesn't perform, it's expensive, a lot of that. 
since moving into my new house and the warmers being stunning, I am a Sensi consultant. I will link my um I will link my website down below. It is the last week to get your Bring Back My Bars. So definitely, if you want to shop for Bring Back My Bars, add them to your club. I'll leave my link down below. But anyway, I've noticed the performance with Sensi in my new house is incredible. I really get great performance from them. And yeah, I'm really excited for the Fall and Winter catalog to dive back in with Sensi. Like I said, I just, I've really really grown to enjoy it and I've actually got my whole entire bar collection in my bedroom to work through because I have some spring and summer scents from I believe they're going on their third summer this year so I really need to work on using them up. I have bricks, so much Scentsy but I did order from Bring Back My Bar. I'm hoping it's here by tomorrow and the video goes up Monday. That's my goal. This is going up Friday the 24th. Hoping the video goes up Monday just in the nick of time. But anyway, I really been enjoying my Scentsy lately in the new house and they last a long time in my house. Like they're lasting longer than vendor wax. So money for money, I take back what I said where it's expensive for what it is because the performance just lasts longer than vendor wax. Sometimes, sometimes Scentsy doesn't last as long as vendor. Sometimes it does. It just, it all depends. But anyway, I used up Catching Z's Snuggle Up. I know that Natalie and I really enjoy this one. This is really nice. It is like a lavender bubble bath fragrance to my nose. It's really, really nice. I, I really like it. It lasted two plus days in my bedroom. Really liked it. Was like falling asleep to this scent in my room. I'm just trying to make sure that I do them together. This one is Blue Hyacinth. This was from the Bring Back My Bar last year. I like this. It is a very powdery bright floral though. So not everyone will. Yeah, I'm not 100% sold on it. I like it. I also canceled my club, which kind of devastating. I lost my sweet plum pastry and stuff, but I just had so much wax at the time. I really needed to use it up, and it's okay. I'm starting a fresh club with these Bring Back My Bars and a few others, which I'll show you in a video. But yeah, so definitely excited to get back into the Scentsy train. Uh, lilacs and Violets. I love this scent. This is such a pretty lilac, and it's interesting. I love the scent of lilacs, but I can't stand the scent of violets. But mixed together, this was really, really pretty. I really liked it and really strong, too. I did Sheer Leather. I've been really growing to like leather scents, too, lately. I know I've been looking for them in Vendor Wax, but I did have, I have all the Scentsy Leather scents, so I wanted to pop this in my room the other day. Really like it to me. This is more of a feminine take on leather, almost as if a woman who's wearing a very fancy perfume is carrying a leather handbag. It's pretty. I really, really liked that one. This is Kiss the Girl from the Little Mermaid. This was a womp womp. I really couldn't smell this in the warmers. It's also really light in the clam. It just gives me like a, like aquatic fruity vibe. Not really sure the notes on that one. Bloomin' Beach, this was from the Mother's Day collection last year, I believe. This one's okay. It's definitely floral. Yeah, it's definitely floral. I'm not 100% sure what it was. This bar was super, super sweaty, so I wanted to use it up. I thought I had two of these. This is from the Disney Beauty and the Beast collection, my favorite Disney movie. This is the last petal. I loved this. This was like a very mature rose. But to me, it's like roses and peaches. I'm not 100% on the notes on this one either, but to me, it's like roses and peaches. Mm, I really, really like that. Definitely would repurchase that one. Yeah, I did these together. I saw someone on Instagram do this combo once, and I've been hooked ever since. It's one cube to one cube in the same warmer of pink cotton and cocoa lime. I love this mixed together. Cocoa lime is just the right amount of coconut mixed with lime. It's about as much coconut as I can take. It definitely leans body care, sunscreen, coconut, but mixed with the lime, mixed with pink cotton, which is like a bright berry laundry detergent. Oh, 
so pretty. Love these together. 100% would recommend. I believe pink cotton stays year-round, but cocoa lime discontinues. I'll have to look, but they will both be ending up back in my club if they're not discontinued, so that way I can get them all the time, because I love that combo. Did I have three of these? Yes. I did this in my whole entire house one day, because I had three clams of Monstropolis Monsters, Inc. I did... I liked it, but I couldn't detect what it was, and it wasn't memorable. That's all I can say. So I did it in here, I did it in the bedroom, and I did it in my main space just to use them up because they were definitely getting sweaty and up there in age. And yeah, I, I, I liked it. I just could not remember it or be like, oh, okay, it was pleasant. So nothing to write home about, though. Newborn Nursery. I don't like this scent. I never did. I don't even know how I ended up with a bar of it, but... I put this in when I was stuffy to be like, oh my god, if I can smell it, my sniffer's back. I got to smell it, and I was like, out the, out the warmer. This is like, wow, this is so strong. This is the strongest Scentsy scent I've ever used, and it is straight up baby powder. That's literally it. Lemon Verbena, you can literally see how like juicy this bar is. It smells straight up like L'Occitane Verbena. If you're familiar, it's like a lemon leaf fragrance. Did not like it. I don't like Verbena necessarily anyway, but I melted that up. And then last but not least, for this round of trash talk for my empties, is Fresh Cut Daisies from the Bring Back My Bar. And this was pleasant. I've had some daisy scents in the past that I did not care for, but I really liked this. It was just sort of in a sweetness mixed with everything else. So yeah, it was okay. I definitely enjoyed it. Wouldn't necessarily repurchase it, but didn't hate it while it was in the warmer. That was my empties video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Thank you all so much for the support throughout the years. You all mean so much to me. I love you all very much. It's such a great place to be. Love sharing my love of home fragrance, candles, all things scented with you guys here on the interwebs. As always, make it a better world. Be kind. Just love one another. There's a lot of hate in the world right now. Online, in person, in the world. Just everywhere in general. So be kind to one another. I love you all so much. Have a good one. Bye, guys. You matter. Talk to you later.